We have a wonderful display out here this morning to talk all about the 2023 holiday food drive. Joining us now to talk about this in the partnership is Chris Carter of the Jacobson Cushman San Diego Food Bank. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks and, for having and us. And bringing the beautiful display. Yeah. Let's first talk about the need in San Diego County and why this 2023 holiday food drive is so important. Sure. So the holiday food drive kicked off on November 1st. We're in full action right now, uh, but the need remains very elevated. The food bank is currently feeding 400,000 people every month in communities throughout San Diego County. Uh, families that we're serving are suffering from inflation, high food, gas, rent prices uh, are really sort of making it hard to put food on the table. Uh, we conducted a recent survey with San Diego State University and 70%, 76% of the respondents said that uh, high costs were the reasons for going to the food bank and 45% said that they just don't have enough money to get by. They're not making enough money to get by. So those factors combined are the reason why we're coming together this holiday season to support the San Diego Food Bank and our holiday food drive. Okay, and so that brings in our, our, our partners to make this all happen. So Alethea Aguilas from First Five San Diego, good morning. Thanks Hi, for joining us. good morning. Us. Thank you for having Tell us. Tell us about the partnership with First Five and why it's so important to be involved in this food drive. Well, First Five reaches to all our families countywide with little ones, zero to five, and pregnant individuals. So when we're talking about about healthy development, we have to acknowledge healthy nutrition. And so partnering with the food bank during this great time of need is really, really important to our families throughout our county. And so this is an opportunity for us to connect our families with food pantries throughout the county, as well as understanding what's available to help support them with their littles at this time. Yeah, I mean, you can't grow and learn without uh, the basic necessity of making sure there's food on the table, right? That is right, absolutely. Okay, so then that brings us to Brian Swartwood. You are the district manager for Albertsons and Vons, and this is sort of how this all comes together and we as individuals out there can provide. Tell us about the partnership and how Albertsons and Vons are involved. Yeah, good morning. So absolutely, uh, we're actually day number six right now and it's the entire month of November up through Thanksgiving. And you can go to any of your local Albertsons or Vons stores and you'll have one of those smiling friendly cashiers say, hey, do you want to donate to nourishing neighbors? And you can say, absolutely, and they'll take care of it. Or the little pin pad will have a $1, a $3, or a $5, and you can donate and it's all going to go to, to provide meals for families for the holiday season. Um, if you don't want to do that, there's also the red barrels in the store, and you can put in you know non-perishable food in there. And the things the food bank is looking for the most are your protein, so like canned meats, peanut butters, um, and then like canned vegetables, canned fruit, grains, cereal, etc. Well, this is great to get the, the the groceries involved. This has been such a successful partnership throughout the years. Chris, can you talk a little bit about the displays? I mean, we always like to tell people what kinds of food really go the farthest when it comes to feeding those in need. That's right, and as Brian mentioned, uh, every Albertsons and Vons in the county, 72 locations, will have our red food drive barrels, which you see here at the front of the store. Uh, so folks can actually make a donation at checkout or make a non-perishable food donation. And as Brian mentioned, uh, canned uh, meats, canned fish, uh, canned protein, we're really, uh, peanut butter is a big, uh, one of our top needed items, uh, as well as the, the food items you see there. Our most needed food items, uh, we encourage folks to purchase those items and make donations at the front of the store in our red food dry barrels. This time of year it is so challenging because a lot of the focus is being around the dinner table and having those holiday meals, but it's also a time a lot of families are struggling and maybe donations are down. Is that what we typically see? Over the holidays, we see increased demand for our services. Uh, this is a particularly tough time for low-income families because in addition to getting groceries, uh, putting a holiday meal on the table is an additional expense. So that's why we're really proud to partner with Albertsons Vaughn who will be helping us provide holiday meals over the holiday season to families in need so we can provide that holiday meal in addition to supplemental groceries to support families facing food insecurity. And then of course we have to talk about the distributions. How can people find out when those are taking place? Absolutely. So uh, we have distributions throughout the county, over 100 distributions. Uh, we work with 200 different uh, distribution partners throughout the county every month. Uh, simply go to our website sandiegofoodbank.org and click on get help. We have a zip code locator so just put in your zip code and that will put a bring a list of all the different locations in your area where are there are emergency pantries or food distributions and that's where folks can get food assistance from all the food right. bank. A wonderful partnership with everyone. Thank you so much. Albertsons Vons making it super easy for everyone to take part if you can and provide for families in need, especially during this holiday season. So uh, more information there on the food bank's website as well as ours at KUSI.com and we'll be back with much more on Good Morning San Diego. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you.